Welcome to YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Runner Beer View. We have an unboxing from the Brew Box Company. Let's come on over here. Let's open her up and let's see what's inside it. Now this is not the December box. Uh, this is just a box of some of the product they can get. And some of the product they have. So open her all up here. Let's see what's inside, shall we? First and foremost, from Anderson Brewing, well, Anderson Craft Ales in London, their Autumn Ale. Really excited to try the Anderson products. Uh, Anderson Amber. I've been trying to get my wife to go over there forever now to pick some up for me, and it just, it just hasn't happened. Anderson IPA. We got a Hawaiian Uppercut Belgian Pale Ale from Stack Brewing. Nice. Again, all beers, to my knowledge, that I just have not had yet. Uh, what do we have here? We have Stack 72 Imperial IPA. Now, on their website, they had a, a uh, smoked series beer. Uh, I don't think they had many of those when, uh, probably had just enough of those for their bottles. What is this? Limber lost, but, uh, barrel aged? Yeah, limber loss. I actually really liked this beer. Uh, but this is the barrel-aged version from Sawdust City. That's something to try. So that would have been in the Sawdust City box. Uh, there's a cat asleep on the chair beside me. Single Track Mind. Belgian Single Golden. Uh, from Block 3. Then you have Citra and Ella. I read that as Citronella, which is, uh, basically those, uh, Mosquito coils, isn't it? Hopefully it doesn't taste like a mosquito co coil. Again, from Block 3. What are you? Oh, Five Paddles Brewing Company's uh, Brother Ian's 9000. So much like, say, like Golden Drac 9000, Belgian Quad. Uh, what else do we have here? Last but not least, uh, Saison 6EN from Block 3. Sad that Fickle Mistress wasn't in here, but I very much appreciate this, uh, this box of stuff. What do we have here? Tasting notes for different things? Yeah, so this is tasting notes for what was in the October box. So the October box was uh, the Single Track Mind, the uh, Saison 6EM, the Fickle Mistress, the Citra Anella. Sorry, I think this was the November box. The Session, Session Saison from the Exchange, Nickel Brooks Duplicity... Uh, which was a really nice beer. Equilibrium and their pie-eyed pumpkin ale with Brett. Um, now, I don't know if the one I had was with Brett or not. I had the regular pie-eyed pumpkin ale, I know that. Uh, Equilibrium, probably the only beer on this whole list that I wouldn't think should really be in there. Uh, Equilibrium, available almost everywhere. Uh, Nickelbrook has so much stuff going on right now that they could have put any of their Funk Lab stuff in there or any of their other special stuff. Hell, they could have even included like their non-alcoholic offering of their root beer and it would have probably been something more intriguing for people because they hadn't had it. Now, the next tasting notes, I believe, is the November box. Or, no, this was the October box. Yeah, this one here is the October box. So this had the Anderson IPA. The Anderson Amber, the Anderson Anderson Autumn Oktoberfest. Then they had uh, the Hawaiian Uppercut from Stack. Les Portes de l'Enfer from Stack. Uh, Smoke and Oak, which is the smoked one I was talking about. Uh, Stack 72. Then they had In Your Face IPA, which I believe they've sent out before in a box from Five Paddles. Uh, because I've had it, and I believe I got it out of a five out of a uh, brew box box. And lastly, but not leastly, the uh, Brother Ian's Nine Thousand Belgian Quad. So really, really good little 
good little boxes if, if you ask me. Um, a whole bunch of these for me to give away. Uh, they're little, they're little things. How easy it is join a club, choose a club, blah 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 blah. Again, uh, they now have a new club coming out, which is the Beer Enthusiast Club. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on that club myself yet. Uh, I will have to wait and uh, hopefully see some pictures of the first few months put out. It's supposed to be the rarest of the rare. It's a rather expensive club. I believe it's uh, 60 bucks, 50 or 60 bucks for two beers, and then 100 bucks for uh, four beers, two of each of the beers. And they're supposed to be the rarest of the rare from the different breweries around. But even on our podcast last night, we were doing the math on really rare beers in Ontario and how much they cost. And... Uh, we just couldn't think of anything that was more than 14 or 15 bucks. Um, so for me, I have to see what they end up putting in there before I make a choice on that one. Uh, the new Bose pack is coming out again, the new Bose Club. Uh, every second month, get a box from Bose. Uh, I haven't fully read what's supposed to be in it. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it is the Greener Futures anymore. Uh, what else is there? There is... Um, excuse me. They still have the... They still have the Silversmith Club. Uh, I didn't see the Collingwood Club on there anymore. Silversmith Club really isn't worth it for me. Silversmith is right around the corner. But for people that are far, far away, since Silversmith does not distribute, it can work. Um, uh, what else was on there? The Sawdust City Club, arguably probably the best value club on there. Uh, the Bruce Discovery Club. And they now, uh, they now ship to BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Nova Scotia. So if you're from other provinces, you're able to get their beers to their packages as well. Uh, I did read two months worth of stuff, so you know what was in it. Uh, and if you're not from Ontario, this is probably a good package for you. Uh, like Lee brought up, you could find a trading partner, but in the end, a trading partner costs more. You're paying more for shipping. You're paying more for... Uh, in the end... the, the yeah, you can get exactly what you want if the person can get there. And you're making it hard on the person because a lot of these breweries are regional breweries. I mean, uh, Stack doesn't really distribute. There's a few beers that are out of the brewery, but not many. Uh, Anderson doesn't distribute. Five Paddles doesn't really distribute. They do a few things. Uh, if you're not one of the big brands for Block 3, it's not being distributed. Uh, that... That Sada City beer was not distributed. Uh, so, I mean, it, it comes down to what you want to do, but, yeah. Thank you very much, Brewbox, for the box. Uh, awesome to see you guys growing and getting better and better. Uh, hopefully, things just continue getting better with the growth you have going. And hopefully, more and more breweries are involved with you. Uh, and, yeah, that's about all I have to say, guys. About all I have to say. Bye-bye. Ooh.